How long do you think you can live without your kidneys? Yeah, I know you can live for a really long period of time with only one kidney. Actually, it doesn't even alter uh, your lifespan. But without any kidney, you cannot go beyond two weeks. So between one and two weeks, it's hard to go even past that. And uh, you're going to have so many conditions in your body before you die because kidney plays a very important role. So today we're not going to look at the functions of the kidney. We're going to look at some of those habits that we usually do that hurt our kidney. The first one is holding urine for too long. Now, when you do this, the pressure will build up in your bladder. This will affect the ureter and also eventually your kidneys. Also, remember, when you hold your urine for quite a long period of time, you are accumulating the toxins, which are meant to be out of your body. Also, when you have more of that urine in your bladder, you are encouraging uh, the growth of bacteria. And some of them will go up the ureter and infect your kidney. The second habit is taking excess salt. Either in our foods or taking that in water, when you take excess of that, you're going to offset your electrolytes. And here in salt, I'm uh, focusing on uh, sodium which is a component in salt. Salt, you're going to have uh, sodium and also chloride. They are both very important. But now, uh, because you are talking about kidneys and uh, water retention, I'll concentrate on uh, sodium. Sodium and potassium plays a really important role. Most of the time, sodium stays out of the cell. Now, potassium will stay inside the cell. And when they, they're in that condition, they help regulate how much of water is getting into the cell and out of the cell. So when you have more of that sodium, outside the cell, it means that you're going to draw more water from the cells and when that water is required inside the cell, it's not going to get. So you're going to impair how well your body is doing. And also, when you have excess of that salt, your kidneys cannot be able to concentrate uh, your urine by removing excess of that water in case you need them or uh, be able to get rid of that water um, to go the way to urine so that uh, the excess of that water is taken out of your blood. So this impairs your kidney. Also salt in most cases usually cause hypertension and hypertension will uh, create pressure on, on your glomerulus and this when uh, it's affected, you are going to also destroy that. You are going to get uh, proteins which are very essential in the body. They are not supposed to be found in urine. You're going to find them in urine because when you destroy the glomerular, which is now the sieve that usually filter everything that is bad to go to the urine and everything good to retain in the blood, uh, when that is destroyed, then uh, the functionality of that kidney will be hampered. The third condition is water. Now, hear me out. We have two conditions here. One, taking excess water, and two, taking less water. Now, when you take uh, less water, your body will have concentrated urine, meaning that you don't have much of water in your body. So the little that will go through uh, the glomerulus um, will be filled with so many of those toxins and other things which are not required in the body. This will give a very good ground for formation of kidney stones and uh, the they are very bad. They are going to destroy the structure of your kidney and the functionality in general. Now, let's go to when you take a lot of water. Now, when you do that, you're going to offset your electrolytes. And like we said, they are very important when it comes to water retention. When you take a lot of water, you're going to offset your electrolytes. And by excess water, this is overhydration, a condition where you take so much water, uh, some of which is not required. So when you overwork your kidneys, they get tired over time. When uh, you take a lot of that water, or when your kidneys are not filtering as much water as required, you're going to have dilute electrolytes in your blood. Remember, sodium is very important when it comes to nerve conduction. Conduction of that signal. When, for example, I touch myself here, there will be a nerve that will send that signal all the way to the brains. So the, the way that uh, signal travels uses sodium and uh, potassium. So how they alternate is how that uh, conduction happens. Now, in case you do that, uh, you take excess of that water, you're going also to uh, impair that nerve conduction. So it's very important for you to maintain that balance between taking excess water and taking less. So just figure out how much your, your body requires so that you always just stay within that range. The fourth one, which is quite common and straightforward, is overuse of painkillers. We have a category that we call non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and uh, they overwork your kidneys. In case you take them for a really long period of time, 
they are going to overwork your kidneys and they are going to eventually impair them. This goes to even other drugs which are eliminated out of your body through the kidneys. When you take them for a continued period of time, they are going to have those effects on uh, your kidneys. Some of the, the effects are formation of the kidney stones and uh, kidney injuries. When you impair your kidneys, you definitely know what will happen. Number five, which is becoming quite a pandemic, is uh, having less sleep. Now, your body will require an ample time to repair and regenerate the tissue. Now, this is healing and repair. This usually happens when you're sleeping. When you don't do that, uh, your body is not getting enough time to repair and uh, regenerate. Now, remember, your brains will instruct your body to sleep, and that's why it's usually the brains usually produce an, a hormone that we call antidiuretic hormone. And this hormone will, uh, one of the functions will be to tell the kidneys to work less so that during this time, everything that was maybe damaged during the day will be repaired. And that's why you urinate less during the night. And you can even go through the night without urinating because now the effect of that hormone is exactly the same. If you don't sleep enough, you're not getting enough time for that hormone to work. And uh, this, you eventually, if that hormone is not being produced, you are also going to overwork the kidneys. They're not getting that resting time. So maybe you are taking coffee during the night. So you'll end up inhibiting another hormone that we call aldosterone. We are going to see that later. And uh, you're, you're going to also continue overworking the same kidneys because you're going to go to the washroom during the night all the time. When you do this, you're overworking your kidneys and uh, you're shortening the lifespan. Number six, this is excessive intake of alcohol. We're going to deal with this in two segments. Now, destruction of the liver, which is very important when it comes to the functionalities of the kidney. And also um, something like inhibiting what we've said earlier, aldosterone, which is a hormone that helps in regulation of water in your body. Now, when you take alcohol, um, it usually inhibits the, the function of aldosterone. And that's why when you take alcohol, you keep going to the washroom every now and then. Because um, when you don't have that aldosterone, you're not keeping as much water with you. So much of that water is not being reabsorbed to your, into your system. And uh, you keep filling your bladder every now and then. That's why uh, when you go to, uh, when you take several beers, you start getting that. Now, Alcohol also will dehydrate your body, meaning that it's going to take as much water from your body as possible. And uh, when you do this, you're going to concentrate your urine. And when you concentrate your urine, remember, you're going to increase the chances of you getting kidney stones. And remember, the kidney stones will uh, alter the structure of your kidneys. And uh, this is one way of destroying them. Now, let's go to damage of the liver. The liver is very important uh, due to one of the functions, which is production of albumin. It manufactures albumin. This is a protein which is very essential when it comes to retaining water. It helps in retaining water. If you cannot be able to produce that, it means even the functionality of the kidney, which is now reabsorption of water and retaining that, it's going to alter that. And also, um, still on alcohol, there's something that we call binge, binge. Yeah, binge. Binge drinking. Binge drinking is when you take a lot of alcohol within a short period of time. This will not give your kidneys enough time to clear off the alcohol, which is now at this point poisonous. And this usually happens uh, when you take anything toxic. So your kidney is not able to clear as much of that toxins from your body as possible. So you're going to get something that we call acute kidney injury. And when this happens, the functionalities usually stop. And if, okay, this is a reversible condition. You can be able to reverse this. But if you continue doing this, you eventually contribute to shortening the lifespan of your kidney. And at one point, you're going to require a new kidney. Now, number seven is unmonitored diabetes mellitus and hypertension. Now, this will be in two categories. Those people who already know that they have those two conditions or one of them, and uh, they're not maintaining that uh, well enough. And we have those who actually don't know they have that until when it's already too late. Now, when you have uh, diabetes mellitus or hypertension, most of the time they usually happen uh, together. You might uh, start by having the lifestyle diseases, which is now, we are talking about type 2 diabetes. 
And uh, this usually contributes to you getting hypertension if not taken care of. This will increase the pressure in the glomerulus, which helps in ultra filtration. When you ultra filter your blood, you're going to get water getting out of the blood and some other small compounds which are not necessary at that point. And then blood and other proteins will remain on the upper part. And in your urine, which is now before it becomes now the actual urine, there will be absorption of essential things like a glucose and other uh, ions into your bloodstream. That's the function of the kidneys and the nephrons. The nephrons is the, um, the functional unit of the, of the kidneys. Now, when you strain your glomerulus, you are going to break some of those pores that helps in uh, ultra filtration, meaning you're going to... Um, pass through even the essential proteins which are not supposed to be filtered out of your blood. And this will uh, destroy the function of the kidney. Also, unmanaged diabetes usually leads to uh, clogging of the vessels, especially the blood vessels. And also you even have uh, other vessels in your kidneys, like uh, for example, the, the nephrons. That tube uh, might get clogged because of excess sugar in your body. When you do that, your kidney will not be functional enough. Actually, it's even going to get um, less of, uh, let's say, oxygen. Because you see, when uh, you constrict those vessels, the blood vessels, they are not going to carry the, the optimum capacity. So they're going to carry less. So meaning your kidney will become tired uh, sooner. And if that condition is not rectified early enough, you're going to have a kidney failure. Also, diabetes is highly associated with uh, the damage of your nerves. And when this happens, the signaling, like for example, your, uh, your bladder is full, you need to empty that, might not get to your brains. Um, and like we saw earlier, uh, there we have complications when you don't empty your bladder sooner. One of which is getting infections, uh, that pressure build up eventually um, accumulating toxins and this will eventually lead to the destruction of your kidneys. Number eight, uh, untreated UTIs or recurring UTIs. This is a urinary tract infections. Sometimes you should call this urethral tract infections. But this one will now go all the way up through the bladder. In case you don't treat your UTI, um, the bacteria might go upstream, uh, get to your bladder, uh, go all the way up, up, uh, through the ureter and get to your kidneys. Here, it's going to cause inflammation and inflammation will come with other conditions. It might even extend to a point of going all the way to glomerulus, getting glomerulitis. And you know, the functional unit of the kidney is the nephron. When you have nephritis, your kidney is not functional. It's not functioning as required. And if you still don't treat this, you might end up having septicemia and bacteremia, which is of very high medical concern. Number nine, eating excess proteins. Now you see your body cannot be able to store proteins. So there's no mechanisms of storing that. Your body will use proteins for repair and growth. In case you have excess of that, your body will have to get rid of that. Now, remember, when you break down proteins, you get nitrogen, you get urea, and they're not good. Also, you get uric acid, which is not good. So when you get those products in your blood, uh, your kidney may not be so much efficient in removing them. And when they accumulate in your body, other things will happen. Like, for example, when you have uh, uric acid, you might get kidney stones, you might also get um, those gouts and uh, other conditions which are because of your kidneys not being able to remove as much of them as possible. The final one, number 10, this is ignoring the early signs and symptoms of kidney failure. Now, when you don't go for um, kidney checkup, you might get some of those uh, things or your kidney failing before you even know it. Now, there are some signs that you need to actually uh, observe or uh, that your kidneys are failing. I'm going to make a video on all of them, I think, next to, uh, in the next video. So make sure you're subscribed. But uh, there are some very obvious signs, like, for example, having edema. This is when you have accumulation of fluid, especially in your legs and uh, your, maybe your arm, your legs, and other parts of the body. When you press on that uh, part of the skin, you get an impression which doesn't go away. It means that you're accumulating much water in your body than your kidney can be able to get rid of. Or your kidney is not able to remove as much as possible because it's impaired. So you're having kidney failure. Now, you have something like um, colored urine, 
which is due to over concentration of that urine and like we saw earlier this might lead to formation of kidney stones and other unfavorable things now i want you to watch this video that will show you some of the signs that uh, will tell you that you have an issue in your body and it's one of the most helpful things that you're going to find on the internet